me Trixie Mattel and I'm back on my channel. Hi guys, my name is Sarah Shower. Welcome to my channel. This is Trixie Mattel. I love them. They're really nice and they do drag and stuff. And I'm young. Do you see that? Whoa. <laughs> You are young, but by YouTube standards, you are 45. Ancient, yeah, but here's 45. the thing. If I start making fun of myself for being old, that's going to give everyone the green flag to call me old from now on. It'll ruin my mental health. That 100% is the truth, because, mm -hmm. like, I'm at the point where, like, 14-year-old girls with really long, luscious hair are like, Hi, bald. <laughs> Hi, old, fat, bald. Hi, old, fat, fat bald, fat. All right, so today we're going to be doing a Would You Rather. I've been obsessed with Would You Rathers on my Instagram story, so I made a list of about 25, and we're just going to go through and see which one you would rather do. Love it. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? For me, it's poor self-image. Growing up, I was on the defensive a lot, so I developed this hardened shell and I became very jaded. And once I got out of the house, I kind of stripped that away, but underneath was this individual who was unsure of their appearance, abilities, personality, and that's something that I'm personally struggling with right now. So BetterHelp will assess your needs and then match you with your own professional licensed therapist. Finding the right counselor is easy. Visit BetterHelp.com to take their assessment, select your gender, age, what issues you're hoping to work on, and so on. Then bada bing, bada boom, you'll be paired with a counselor that's right for you. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it is professional counseling done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's network, which may not be locally available in some areas. The service is available worldwide and you can log in anytime and send messages to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule a weekly video or phone session so you won't have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room like traditional therapy makes you. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, that's why they make it easy and free to switch counselors if needed. And honestly, it's more affordable than traditional online counseling and financial aid is available. That being said, BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit betterhelp.com slash Sarah Shower. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. And join the over a million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. There's actually a special offer for Sarah Shower listeners. Get 10% off your first month by visiting at betterhelp.com slash Sarah Shower. That's better H-E-L-P. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. So we're going to start it off with, would you rather be a high school guidance counselor or a clown? <laughs> You're starting off easy, huh? Yeah. One of those jobs is really similar to what I do now, and one of them is involving children. The clown? <laughs> Yeah, I kind of feel for both because sometimes when I'm at the meet and greet and a high schooler is crying in my arms, I'm like, I am a high school counselor. <laughs> you should go to college. Yeah, I'm counseling the high schoolers. Yeah. I would say that being a, a true legit clown, like white Jays, white Porsche face, mm -hmm. like red shoes. No look how pretty that sunlight is. Wow. Like red nose. I think it'd be really fun. If you were a good premium birthday clown, I mm -hmm. think you would be a really happy person. Yeah. And like what type of car do you drive now? Um I don't have a car. Oh, so you'd have to get a small one. <laughs> yeah. But I used to drive a smart car. Oh so yeah, you're yeah. like halfway there. <laughs> yeah. And I used to pull up to the gay club in a smart car and get out and drag and it would be like doo, 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 doo. Did you get it like valeted? No, I was like pulling up to the club and it, you know smart cars are so little. Yeah. I would like pull up, there'd be a spot this big, and yeah. I'd be like, and I'd parallel park into it, and, people would be, and I would get out and drag if people would be like. But I just imagine your hair sticking through the roof or something. Pretty much. It was like the like the Flintstones, the dog through the roof. Oh, yeah, that yeah. Was me. Your feet are like running along the road. I'm going to go with clown. How do, what do you think? High school guidance counselor. Why? Because I love kids. Well, I love older kids. I don't know. I just like really like the idea of like advising them to do like stupid shit. Oh, you want to push them off the cliff? I just. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna try to like help them. No, I mean like I would You're help like, no, them. No, no, quit high school. Do TikTok. <laughs> it's weapon of choice: a handful of ants or a plastic knife. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote this? Me. <laughs> <laughs> a handful of ants. I mean, ants are disgusting. Fire ants. Oh, I think I think fire ants. Yeah, like because there's this tweet where it's like, you know, if, if you were about to rob someone and they had like a roach and someone threw a roach at you, you'd be like horrified. So I imagine like a handful of ants, like a plastic yeah. knife, you could break it in half and have like two sharp ends. But like handful of ants is like this person is insane. Have you ever been bit by an ant? Yes. If, if they they bite hard. They hurt. I'm gonna say ants, especially if they were like trained ants. You have a concealed carry for like ants. Totally. I have a jar of ants. I let them free. I give them like a Major League Baseball, like, 
Or like whatever the signal <laughs> yes. is. You like for a curveball. Like second base. Yes. Curse. And the ants in formation go up the leg and bite, bite the dick. <laughs> bite the dick. I'm gonna go with ants, right? I mean, <laughs> plus a plastic knife. Yeah, it wouldn't do much damage. Next one, sleep with no pillows on your bed or only use plastic utensils for the rest of your life. Oh my god. Both are just mildly inconvenient. Yeah, but this is pretty tame. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say I need a pillow on the bed. Yeah, I get like very bad acid reflux, so just laying flat would ruin my life. Plus when no one's around, I'm gonna say living alone, I don't always use. Utensils. <laughs> yes. If I'm making like a bowl of soup, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm drinking it. If, Put it on the ground and lap it up like a dog. Yes, like in Kill Bill when she's using the chopsticks and she gets frustrated and throws it and starts grabbing the rice. That's me. <laughs> That's me. I love my nails. I know, me too. They're so cute. We have a, we just did a self-care video on my channel if you guys want to do self-care. Mm, I mean, that's yes. why we really look great, honestly. Okay, first date. Would you rather eat out of a bowl like a dog or use your feet and eat with utensils between your toes? Eat out of a bowl like a dog. <laughs> I mean, I just admitted that I would already do that, so... I know, but like on a first date... <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, oh, utensils? Not great for the environment. <laughs> you know. But would you lift the bowl to your face or lower your face to the bowl? Oh, like a dog means sort of like face to the... Like, yeah, like you can't lift it to like put it in your mouth. What's the other one? Eat with you, the feet? Yeah, but utensils. I mean, that's worse. Like, <laughs> it's cool. So where were you born? <laughs> That is so much. I'm gonna go with eat like a dog because you know what? Maybe they'd be like, damn, he tears that bowl up. I'm gonna go with that. What do you think? Bowl like a dog. Just cause like I could picture them eating pussy. See, I think for the girls, it's a little more like, why don't you show me what that mouth do? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna treat your pussy like a can of dog food, bitch. Cause guess like what? Purina dog show. <laughs> Purina's kind of a sickening drag name, though. Purina. It kind of sounds like a medication for depression. Are you sad? You're like Purina Deluxe <laughs> would be her name. I got a good one for you. Yes. Would you rather watch porn with your parents or be alone in a room watching a porn of your parents? <laughs> I would rather watch porn with my parents. I agree 100%. I That's so messed up if you saw a sex tape of your own parents. I couldn't imagine my parents having sex because they're so old and Christian. I imagine they don't really touch each other. Well, you happen. They yeah. had to go at some point. Yeah. Oh, God. Which one would you choose? I would watch the porn with my parents because mm -hmm. I, I, could, I, I couldn't even deal with. I mean, you know what? I would watch the porn of my parents because I'd like to find out who my dad is. <laughs> so if that's the way I found out was it had to be in a sex tape, I'd be like... Roll the tapes. Get the popcorn. Let's do it. <laughs> take a seat, pause it, take a selfie with your dad. This is my father. That's the that's the 23 and me I was looking for. Yeah. Oh, that's the ultimate paternity test. Would it be? I like got footage of him fucking <laughs> alone. So that's how you know it's your dad. <laughs> Moving along, would you rather get heckled by eighth graders every day or punched once a week by your neighbor? Well, uh, I have some really buff neighbors. <laughs> There's my, my kitty corner neighbor is a former adult film star and he still has the big gun show. Yeah. So, I mean, one punch. <laughs> Although my nose is crooked from this way. If he was a lefty and he was interested in breaking it in other direction, <laughs> That I could get into. Yeah. And also, I wouldn't want to see kids, period. So I'm going to say neighbor. Perfect, yeah. Because look how crazy this is. Look in, the, look in the monitor. Do you have a deviated septum? I have a deviated everything. You could get like a free nose job if you have a deviated septum. When I look at the camera like this, it faces forward. And then when I look straight on, look how far to the left that is. Kati has been like, get a nose job. And I'm like, getting a nose job for a crooked nose feels like not serious enough. No, if breathing through your nose like this. If one goes down, it means you have a deviated septum. You literally have a deviated septum. Sarah's a doctor. No, I mean, like, I'm looking at those jobs. When I took my head back, look how crazy that is. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. But you know what, though? If I'm going to get it, I have a question for you. Yeah. Would you rather have Michael Jackson's speaking voice or his nose? His voice, honestly. For a woman, not so bad. Yeah. Like, if I had his nose, though, like, it's on. it was on the brink of collapse. Would you rather have his nose or his voice? God, that voice would be tough. But the thing is, you're a singer, so you would benefit from having his voice. That is a really good point. So yeah, that would like that would be amazing. I'm gonna take the voice. Would you rather be attacked by two birds or one roach? <laughs> Roaches can fly. Well, that just made me sick. I know, have, I know. Have you had, since you moved to LA, have you had a roach in the house? No. They're huge. huge. They're disgusting. That, my bedroom has white carpet, you saw? One night I was in bed reading a book and I just saw, mm, probably the size of a medjool date this big. <laughs> and I thought it was a mouse, Yeah. it was so big. And I was like, <gasps> 
and I hit it. It followed it in the kitchen, and oh. I killed it with a cowboy boot, and it was so big that it sounded like bones breaking. Oh my That's God. how big it was. Oh, Ooh, that makes me sick. I'm going to say two birds because I love birds. What a way to go. Birds are, like, stronger, but a roach flying at you is terrifying. A hundred percent. Can I tell you one time? You know what June bugs are? Yes. I had one fly in my mouth once. Oh, my God. In the mouth. No. Yeah, I said it to my tongue. I would, no. I would. Your um, albums were two birds and one roach, and, like, I... <laughs> I, I <laughs> Everybody, because I did two birds, and then I did one stone, and everyone's like, so what's the next one? I'm like, zero calories. No. <laughs> two birds, one roach, now available on iTunes. <laughs> would you rather always have a fruit punch mustache or milk mustache? It's past mass, so you're, like, walking around with, like, your face out. Both are humiliating. Milk is maybe a little hot. Is this gross? There's something a little hot about someone chugging milk. Is that gross? Yes! Wait, what's hot about it? I don't know, like a guy in his underwear, like walking to the fridge in the middle of the night and like pulling the carton out and drinking straight out of the carton. <laughs> Is that a little hot? If that's a little hot, comment below. <laughs> the girls who follow you are gonna be like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I will kill you. I will kill you. <laughs> um, and I think that fruit punch mouth would read as some kind of STI. <laughs> I think he would just be so juvenile. I'm gonna go with the milk. I think the milk might make me look like I'm in like a Does the Body Good campaign. When I was a kid, we had like a glass of milk every night. Yeah. And now thinking, I'm like, I would never just come home and want milk. Oh no, never. Like, and think about like school lunches in high school, it was always like a carton of milk. Yes. Is that normal for like people to do drink Do people milk? still do that? Do kids still drink cartons <laughs> of milk at school? I'm serious. We drank a carton of milk probably every day at school. Yeah. And I wondered why I was like bloated all the time. I really am thinking back, like drinking milk every day is weird. And I drink so much. It. It's disgusting. Oh, and like I remember like the popular boys, like the athletes, getting double milk or like mm -hmm. two chocolate milks. And, like, <laughs> would you rather have a long ass rat tail or always wear pants that you can see your underwear through? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna say rat tail. Maybe I could make it my thing. You're completely bald. I'm totally and bald except one, rat tail. one long piece. I'm gonna say the rat tail. I mean, when I see people have weird haircuts like that, it's <laughs> often they like make it cool. Maybe I could make it cool. <laughs> Yeah. What would you want? I would want the pants that you can always see my underwear through. Because that's a little hot, right? Yeah, I'd make it like thongs or something. Yeah. I'd, but like the rat tail, like I would assume that this would all be gone. <laughs> And it would just be a rat tail. Would you rather have your clothes be two sizes too small or have your foundation three shades too light? Oh, I'm gay. I want the foundation <laughs> to match, and I want that that clothing skin tight. Really? I want painted on clothing. Oh my god. Me walking around and <laughs> wait, three shades too dark. Three shades too light. Oh, too light. Because I figured it'd be hard because we both are so pale. It would be like almost deathly white. It'd be Voldemort. <laughs> I own a makeup company. Mm -hmm. I can't be wearing off this mask <laughs> foundation. You have horrible Welcome makeup. Welcome back to Trixie Cosmetics. Just <laughs> ghost white. I will say, three shades lighter, not as bad as three shades darker. Yeah, because the line is on so your neck. <laughs> Would you rather ask everyone you meet to smell your fingers or flip off everyone you see? <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of flipping off everyone I see. <laughs> you just. Can you imagine that, like, going to the coffee? <laughs> Gelson's. Oh, I missed one. Like, every aisle of the grocery store. For you, for you. Everyone you see means everyone you see. Like children. Oh, cops. Yes. I'm going to go with flipping people off because I think that's funny. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is like, that's every person you see. The caveat is that, like, it's just, like, every person you meet. So, like, you're like, hi, smell my fingers. If you don't meet someone but you see them, you don't have to make them smell your fingers. Oh, I'm going to go with flipping people off. Yeah. I think that's a fun quirk. It's very powerful. You have to meet her. She flips everyone <laughs> off. And you know what? If that was my thing, I'd have the most sickening middle nail you've ever seen. Just only one, though. With, like, a championship, like, an NFL ring. <laughs> Bought it from the Giants or something? Yes! <laughs> I pull it off the corpse of Peyton Manning. In the arms of the He's not dead. Okay. <laughs> He's not dead, okay. I'm also a big fan of... <laughs> you know what? <sighs> I, I wish people still did. <clears throat> people used to do that all the time. Would you rather let someone named Seth or Tyler drive your car? If you had a Seth. car. Yeah. Tyler's just like a... Tyler's, Tyler's a douche. It's a douche, right? It's but like Seth is name. stoned out of his mind. I'm going to say Seth, though. Like, Seth is just going to get behind the wheel and fall asleep. Why would he even pull out of the parking lot? No, yeah. he's in the parking deck. Tyler's going to, like, joyride in it. Yeah. And, like, smoke in the car. There's going to be mud all over it. Yeah. yeah. He's going to leave, like, a backwards cap in the back seat with, like, a Hurley sweatshirt. Would you rather find a body or get hit with fresh dog shit? <laughs> Like you're I'm walking down the street and someone hits you with a, like a handful of dog shit. I'm gonna say something that makes me kind of damaged. What? I'd rather find the body. I want, I want to find a dead person <laughs> so bad. <laughs> you want to find a dead like stand by me style, like, like, like hit by a train? Yeah, like I, yeah. How bad is the body? Is it in chunks? 
Or is it like a person who looks like they're asleep? Person who looks like they're asleep. That's fine. I think finding somebody's body, you do have the responsibility to call someone. So yeah. then it becomes kind of your your baby a little bit. <laughs> it's your project. Kind of. <laughs> like you call into work like, hey, I, I'm, I'm running late. I just found a dead body. I have to wait till the police get here. You have to. Yeah. I'm more equipped for that than most people I think. But would you get like PTSD? No, that's what I mean. You, I could handle it. You've been mentally preparing to find a dead person your entire life. Yeah, I've seen a dead body. I've seen a dead body. So I think once you see one, it's a little. It's kind of like the same. Yeah. Like riding a roller coaster. Am I sick? You'd rather find the dead body too, right? Yeah. Fresh dog shit. But the thing is, I I, I could throw up from that. <laughs> I know, but I was thinking that most people get PTSD if they found a dead body. You and I are equally disturbed, so like, it's fine. Yeah, that's a dead body, but that's living shit. <laughs> that's shit, that's fresh, shit it's warm. It's all warm. <laughs> Thrown at you? Oh my god. I don't know what I would do. That's I would create a dead body. Someone would die. Yes. Someone would die. <laughs> would you rather be straight or a raccoon? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> a raccoon! I'm serious. I don't envy the straight. The way I, I think I spent a lot of years of my life going to bed every night praying I would be straight. Mm -hmm. And as an adult, it never crosses my mind. Yeah. We get to be these like weird fringe of society, straddling the worlds of reality and, you know, non-reality. Nobody mm -hmm. expects us to get married. No one expects us to have kids. Yeah. We just get to be creative and, and laugh and drink. And I just feel like we get this lifelong party like a raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like I was in so many relationships with men where I thought like there was something wrong with me because like I was not interested in having sex with them. I kind of just wanted their attention. And then when I started dating women, I was like, holy shit like people actually like each other right raccoons. raccoons raccoons are fierce that's the end of my questions thank you so much trixie for doing this with me of course oh my gosh i was gonna give you guys want to know if you're wondering sarah smells really good all the time yeah. All the time. <laughs> if you guys want to watch my videos, we just did a self-care mm -hmm. video. You can check out my YouTube, Trixie Mattel. And um, thank you for having me. Thank you for being on my channel. This is probably like the most professionally shot like video I have. Oh! Make sure you guys subscribe to Sarah too. She's burning out the content for you guys. I think this I'm a burnout. I was about to be like, She's oh a my burnout. God. She's doing her best. Support an independent lesbian content creator, <laughs> yeah. please. But thank you so much guys for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!